Welcome to the first video of our new series, Marketing Learn Chain, learning through a chain of snippets. The topic for the day, segments versus clusters. Let us start from the very beginning by going for the definitions of segmentation and clustering. Segmentation is the process of dividing a consumer market into distinct subsets of consumers in terms of their buying taste, buying behavior, using a combination of buying criteria like demographic, geographic, behavioral, etc. Each distinct subset is a segment. On the other hand, clustering is a mathematical process of dividing a large database into homogeneous groups where the behavior is identical within a group and heterogeneous across groups. This is done using a combination of data techniques like partitioning or hierarchification. Each distinct subset that emerges is called a cluster. The common ground that gets covered on both sides of the fence are, remember, this is an unsupervised learning model and there is no a priori information on how many subsets are going to exist in terms of how many segments, how many clusters, what is the relative size, is a recombination possible, can clusters merge to become super clusters, etc. Finally, what is driving commonality? Is it geography? Is it demography in terms of segmentation? Is it distance between points or the density of package of points in clustering? And finally, please remember that in any system, there will be points that do not blend at all. They stay outside all clusters and they are called the outliers. Let us understand segmentation by looking at the automobile market. We are plotting utility versus style. And in one corner, you find the quid, the alto, the nano, fairly low in styling and fairly low in utility. But the very first car, that a new family purchases, a family that is into car buying for the first time. Move diagonally, slightly more utility, slightly more style, and you'll find the first car that this generation is going to buy, the Swift, the Desire, the Item. Straight upwards, increase in utility, you get the Wagoner, cut across, not really a style statement, but good in utility, Maruti is good old Omni, Sweep along the style axis, you will get the sedans, Honda City, Hyundai, Verna, the first ever status car. Move straight up and come to the SUV market, the first ever prestige car, the XUVs, the craters, the endeavors. Cut further up along the style axis and you will end up with the Fortuner. What you are seeing here are nice clusters emerging with the centroids separated by either the Euclidean distance or what we call as the right angle distance or the Manhattan distance. What is emerging in this map in marketing terms can be called as segments and in database terms can be called as clusters. This mapping is for illustrative purposes only. The game continues. Remember that all segments are clusters, but the vice versa is not true. Let us take an example of clustering, which has nothing to do with marketing. We are looking at weather forecasting. You suddenly find that the map of weather forecasting shows three nice digital image processed clusters of clouds. And just like it happens in segments, clusters can also overlap. What these overlapping clusters are going to indicate is that there is a high probability of rain along the entire coast of Tamil Nadu and Andhra Pradesh. There could be a small break in the northern reaches of Andhra and the southern reaches of Orissa before rain continues unabated through Orissa, West Bengal and Bangladesh. There is a completely different cluster indicating rain in the northern Gangetic Plains including New Delhi. Why are we using the word incremental? We are using the word incremental because these clusters are not static clusters. They are dynamic clusters and they keep moving. The cluster centroid keeps moving and hence we need an incremental k-means clustering 
algorithm to map these clusters. Friends, we are concluding this snippet on segments versus clusters. For understanding this concept of marketing learn chain, additional recommended readings are segmentation, targeting and positioning or what we call as STP. What are effective segmentation criteria? Are the segments which are emerging measurable, substantial, actionable, accessible and responsive? What do you mean by a blue ocean segment? Can you identify an uncontested segment? In the context of clustering, what is unsupervised machine learning? What are clustering algorithms like Markov clusters and K-means clusters? How do you map distances, be it the Manhattan distance or the Euclidean distance? Summing up, the first set is a customers to segments mapping. The second one gets generalized to records to clusters mapping. Segments are related to marketing and clusters are related to analytics. I would recommend viewers to pause the video here and jot down these points for further reading. Hope you like the snippet. The next one from Marketing Learn Chain would be coming soon. Till then, keep watching, keep liking, keep commenting and keep subscribing. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.